guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i'm pretty excited about this video i got a makeup kit for school it finally arrived since school started let me show y'all my face chart because i've never worked on a face chart before but yeah this is her oh first things first a bag how how sexy is this like the color basically it has the two clips here and then it opens up like that and like that it comes with this belt i'll be showing you what's in here okay i'll just start with the brushes okay so it comes in this little cute leather situation it opens up like this it's an 18 brush set Ooh, this is so freaking sexy i can't we have our little foundation for oh that is soft we have our little foundation brush i actually can't wait to use this our second brush i'm not really sure there are specific brushes but some brushes work different for other people Ooh, it even has little engraving on them very cute this is the like angled i've seen some people use this for like contour fourth brush it looks like this i'm not really sure where i would use this brush could be concealer these brushes are like really soft i think this is a better concealer brush because it's flatter than the other don't know what she's for there's this here too literally a lot of uses here i've already used this brush today it's very like flat precise for like what you want to put in your cut crease we have our eyeshadow brush there's this one it literally looks like this one just different colors this is my second fan brush for your highlights i really like the quality of these brushes i don't know like where to use it seems like it's all the same like this could also be for eyeshadow could be for concealer honestly it depends on you literally a repetition this one okay let me show you all it i think this is for lipstick it's basically for hygiene purposes we have our angled brush very familiar with this there is a eyeliner gel so this is also good for your winged liner okay this looks like the same brush i use for putting on like highlights and powder on like my nose like to really small areas i really wish i could tell you what this is for it's so thin lastly we have our spoolie that's all the brushes we have in here next i'm gonna move on to like foundations concealers from mac the nw58 so w would be for warm and it is in a darker shade but it's given to us to you can adjust the colors and the makeup that's given to us besides the brushes is from mac and grafto i don't know how to say it properly graftopian graftopian nah that don't sound right it's graft graft graftopian i think that's right packaging for mac as always it's the matte black oof never used a mac foundation before Ooh. the school was like very conscious of the darkest skin types it's just like this it's not a tube or a squirt or a brush applicator it's easy to decant onto the hand 24 hour smooth wear concealer from mac it's same type of packaging as the foundation here's the concealer it's a normal type of applicator brush i'm used to we have this is like the only packaging it's in you just push it through let's see what it looks like when you open it here's the lid with the name of the brand i think this one since it has like a little tape flap here it seems like it can come out like through the thing when you do that situation the next powder is also from graftopian 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 that's the pronunciation i'm sticking to and this is hd setting powder so same type of situation with the other one literally the same type of packaging throughout and then the last powder it's another pro setting powder but this one is in a darker shade 
Now that we're done with the powders, this is the little eyeshadow with this packaging, same as MAC, but it's got an open like, it opens up like this. Oof, we could do nice black smoky eyes. Let me swatch, should I swatch? I should swatch. Okay, thoughts. I think it builds up like the color, like the pigment is really not that bad, but I think um, the color builds up as you pack it on more. But on camera, it's giving me very much a gray vibe, but that's not what it looks like in person. The next thing is the Pro Longwear Fluid Line Eyeliner Gel. It's like um, a pomade it's for wing liner, but I mean, if you have black brows, that's okay. This is a MAC. Um, eyeshadow palette it comes in this packaging it's called art library um flame buoyant the colors are very flame fiery type situation i get more neutral red type vibes from this palette i don't think i would use it personally a lot because i do like a lot of color like first one is what's the what's the pointillism she died down pretty quick she is a little pigmented but i think you would have to like pack it on samoa silk this is very skin tone like this is what it looks like this i can't even see like with my own eye amber lights she is a shimmer we love shimmers oof she's giving me very much golden vibes look at that reflection that pigment we have la vida mocha she's a shimmer as well but so she's a brown type of shimmer dada -da issues this palette is calling me out daddy issues basically it's also very skin tone like like that one the next one is room but she's like more brown orangey type Hmm. Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. The next one is Dallywood. It's giving me very much of a darker brown with a little red. Ooh, she do have pigment. Very impressive. And the next one is Embark. It looks, it's very much of a dark brown, like very dark, like eyebrow type of dark. The shimmer is called Fan the flames. Ooh. She's nice. I don't know if this is like giving me cherry or berry, but I don't know. One of those vibes. The next shimmer is Flame Buoyant, named after the palette. Ooh. Look at that pigment, mate. She's not shimmering as much as Fan the flames. The next one is Lauvre, oh, Lauvre, Lauvre at first sight. She looks very much maroony. She's not as maroon as what she looks like on the palette. Also, the last one is called Everyone's Darling. She looks like a deeper red than the one before. Wow. She's very much between maroon and brown. I do like the shade. I think it would make a nice smoky eye. Now we got these cute natural lashes from Nana Coco. So these are reusable. Moving on from the eyes, we have our blush palette here. This is the blush palette. It's also got some contour as well. I used this one today. Very pigmented. Oof. Smells makeup-y. I like this smell. So onto the lips, we have HD Professional Lip Color, Ultra High Definition Super Palette for Professional Artists, period. It, it's in like this slidable packaging situation. Inside, it's different lip colors. It's a cream type. The options are impeccable. It's very much your normal colors also have a super seal intense shine lip gloss wow not the usual shape i'm used to 
Ah, oh, she didn't have like that. You know that sound when you. I like that. But this is what the brush looks like. It's not the normal lip gloss applicator. I missed this, but this is a brow set gel. Is it cylinder? Circular? Cylinder. I think it's cylinder. Cylinder type tube I'm used to. In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash from MAC. It looks so pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like it has little MAC written all over it. And I like the way this thing is. Like, it just, it feels nice. Okay, okay. Ooh! That's the sound I was looking for. We're literally almost done. This is the last thing here. These pencils, these are all from Gra Graftobian, Graf Graftobian, yo. So let's look at the eyeliner first. The first one we have is called Coco Bean. Very much a brown. When I was like using it, it wasn't, it didn't feel like a normal, like eyebrow type pencil. It had a little bit of like, a creaminess to it i think yeah i do like the consistency of it though the second eyeliner is black velvet this is just the normal black eyeliner color here. lip liners we have the first shade here called natural this is not a natural lip color for everyone second one is called crushed berry she looks brown when you look at it from here but i'm sure it comes out darker deep red lastly we have red hot so this is the red lip essential that's it guys that is all that's in my makeup kit if you enjoyed this video i know some people like unboxing type videos so the thumbs up comment and subscribe switch on your notification bell so that you're notified every time i post hopefully every sunday thanks so much for watching um i appreciate every single view see you next week or not see you next year or not <laughs> bye i could wear like this instagram photo I don't know what top, like, also, like, I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard as well.